This segment brought to you in association with Burger King. Time for sports now. We say good evening to Mark Seal. Mark, the semis are now cemented. Yep, Shane, at least we know the top four. We don't know who will be playing who. That is tomorrow, but yep, we know the top four. Yeah. And we can tell that Pakistan they didn't make it, although they hammered Bangladesh by 94 runs at Lords today. They still failed to make that highly improbable task of pipping New Zealand to the last ICC World Cup semi-final place. The 1992 winners needed victory by a record margin of at least 308 runs to finish fourth on a better net run rate. Imam al Haq's even 100 and 96 from Babar Azam saw them post 315 for 9 from their 50 overs before they dismissed Bangladesh for 221 in 44.1. Shakib Al Hassan top scored with 64 for the Tigers, but 19 year old player of the match Shaheen Afridi took a record breaking 6 for 35 as he became the youngest player to take a five wicket haul in a World Cup match as Pakistan won by 94 runs. So, current leaders Australia will top the table if they beat South Africa at Old Trafford tomorrow in the 8.30 a.m. game. But if the defending champions lose, then India can overtake them by defeating Sri Lanka at Headingley in the 5.30 a.m. clash. Both games will be live on MCTV's channels 302 and 308, respectively. On out of track and field where Shanice Hudson gave Barbados its first medal at the 2019 NACAC Under-18 and Under-23 Track and Field Championships in Mexico. It was a gold in the girls' Under-18 discus final with a winning throw of 42.02 meters. Meantime, Tristan Evelyn, Darian Clark and Mario Burke are all into tonight's finals of the 100 meters, while Rivaldo Leacock but his final spot in the 400 meter hurdles. Evelyn qualified in the girls under 23 100 for the, with the fourth fastest time, that of 11.57 seconds. Clark also had the fourth fastest time, 10.58, in the boys under 18 to secure his spot in the final. And Burke was the second fastest from the heats in the boys under 23 in 10.19. Now in the boys under 23 400 hurdles, Leacock qualified in 52 seconds flat. I know the swimming where Barbados went, well, not swimming, but more like water polo. Barbados went down in both the under 15 and under 18 boys categories when the CC Can water polo competition began at the Aquatic Center yesterday. The Belgian boys lost to Puerto Rico and then to the Bahamas. Barbados' under 15s fell behind Puerto Rico in the second minute when Andres Diaz slotted one past the Belgian goalkeeper. That was the score at the end of a fairly quiet and defensive first quarter. However, things lit up in the second as five goals were scored. Four of them by Puerto Rico, with Martin Figueroa accounting for two of them. Barbados got on the scorecard in this quarter though. Marcus Whittington getting home one, but the hosts were down 4-1 at halftime. Puerto Rico added two more in the third quarter to be up 6-1. Then in the final stanza, the visitors added four, with both Diaz and Figueroa finishing with three goals apiece, while Barbados' second goal was by Israel Bryan, as the local lads lost 10 goals to two to Puerto Rico. The Belgian and the 18s had an encounter of the closer kind with Bahamas. Barbados let off this one, with Lamar Mayers putting them ahead. But Bahamas replied with three unanswered goals to lead the first quarter 3-1. to one. The deficit basically remained within a three or four goal difference with the halftime score being 7-3 and the third quarter 9-6 for Bahamas, Gerbil Sastry threw in five. For Barbados, Mayors led with four goals with the final score 12-9 to, to Bahamas. Well, Shane, Station Hill Cavaliers put in an improved performance last night to even up the co-operators' general insurance Premier League basketball final series against Burger King Clapham Bulls. It's now one all. Playing at the BCC gym in game two of the best of five series, Cavs led at all quarters before the five-point victory, 75-70. to CBC's Damien Best reports. Action time, game two of the BABA Premier League final series. Bulls in the blue, battling Station Hill Cavaliers. First possession of the matchup, Jamai Puckren cuts baseline, flips it up and in. Game high, 18 points. 
Akeem Marsh didn't take long to warm up for the Bulls. Catch and shoot, nicely done. 14 points, a slow night by his standards. Well, there were four players in double figures for the Cavs, including Saeed Norville with 12, using a backboard to good effect. The boys in green sitting on an eight-point cushion to start the second quarter, 25 to 17, teardrop two from Puckrin. Then Darren Hunt with a high percentage shot, three balls, 16 points. Bulls looking out of sorts in the first half and the Cavs seizing the opportunity. Jason Smith with his hands in the cookie jar, sugar, three more. Norville just as lethal, right side the best side, count it. Assist number four for Puckrin. Cavs eventually head into the break up 44 to 34. Puckrin racking up the frequent flare miles. Let's go third quarter now. Smith shoots from the charity line and sinks it. Bulls not getting the stops on the defensive end, content to just trade baskets. Remain level with the up fake, completes the job. Then Halle Franklin with the pick, stays with the play. Bulls down but not out. Andrew Eiffel, active hands as well. Very next play, same result. That is team with 17. The Cavs 10 point lead dwindling in the fourth quarter to just one point Marsh with the one time effort. Then Raheem Gibbons from the acute angle, you betcha. Gibbons with 16 in the till, adding some swag to the triple from upstairs. The crowd appreciative of the elegance. But every time the Bulls got close, the Cavs found a way to keep the scores busy. Another couple to make it 74 to 68. And as the clock ticked away, the Cavaliers would eventually seal the five point win, 75 to 70, to level the five game series at one all. Damien Best, CBC Sports. Well, thanks, Damien. And game three is set for tomorrow night at the BCC Gym, starting at 8 p.m. Barbados will be hosting the Darcy Beckles Diamond Cup Classic at the Lloyd Erskine Sanford Center this weekend. It will be the first time that the island will be playing host to an IFBB event of this magnitude, where over 100 countries could possibly be taking part. Public Relations Officer of the Barbados Amateur Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation, Ivor Wirral, says that this kind of exposure is a good chance for Barbados to prove that it can host a top-class event. What is good for us is that because IFBB is campaigning a lot into Europe, a number of European countries will be coming to Barbados. Um, the cost is greater, and it is critical that the persons who have indicated their willingness to participate in the event kind of like hand over the check because Barbados' reputation is at stake. We do not want to have a situation where persons leave and they say Barbados didn't know what they were doing. We want to hear Barbados run a well-oiled, well-greased event, and they will want to come back. Promoter of the Diamond Cup, Roger Boyce, has updated the list of big names who will be on show, both locally and internationally. Um, Ramona Morgan, she would be carrying the charge for the professional side, but the amateurs would be Hadley Hoy, um, Jamil Jones, uh, Martinus Durant, Kurt Alling, all of the top amateurs in the country will be competing this weekend. In the men's physique, we have number three, number four, number five in the world coming here to compete. Um, bikini, we have number one and number six. Um, number six is from Brazil, number one is from Russia, who will be here to compete this weekend. And then we have a fairly strong team coming out of Holland in the bodybuilding segment. So the Amateur Classic will flex off tomorrow morning from 10 a.m., while the pros will be from 7 p.m. 